He may disappear momentarily into a magic act. Now you see him. Now you don't. Now you see him out the bottom again, still rotating backwards. And time to recover out of that one. Brian Jensen is the pilot. The Pitts Model 12, but this one was built in Selwood, Florida by Kim. But the bottom wing is the same span as the top wing. Full span ailerons that catch the blast from the three-bladed propeller. And they have upped the performance on that Benedjev engine, the one that you're going to hear growl. That comes to a stock at 360 horsepower. It's been tweaked up to 450 horsepower. Something here. Most of the time, the pilots you see flying today would be rotating to the left. The Russian engines rotated the opposite way. So now you're going to see hammerheads done the opposite way. The torque roll as he shifted into reverse, pushing on the clutch, backwards on the tail, still sliding backwards. A little bit of protest from the prop. How about a big round of applause for Brian Jensen and the beast? So the engine is geared. You never get that high rasping noise from the prop. And what you do get is that raw horse power like that as he does that balancing act in the sky. As he hangs in the air as if suspended by an invisible wire through raw power and a computer-generated three-bladed looking at the side of the fuselage. And you can see what happened to that smoke in a snap roll, more or less conical, on the top of a loop, setting up for a dedication maneuver to all of our veterans. If you look up into the sky, ladies and gentlemen, that heart in the sky from Brian Jensen is to all the men and women in military uniform. Give them a big round of applause and give Brian Jensen a big round of applause for that dedication maneuver uh, this weekend, we call Memorial Day weekend. Ooh, this is going to hurt. A little bit of pendulum effect. Let's bring that Venetia engine back to life. If that's not the exact pronunciation, <laughs> you try it. It's the best I can do. And what, folks, as Brian is flying his heart out for you, what Curtis wanted to do back in the days when he made it this engine with an adequate fuselage, he always tried to give us high-performance biplanes that were relatively inexpensive. In fact, we could build them ourselves as long as we kept Curtis at the other end of the telephone. What he did at the fall of the USSR was find out these engines were inexpensive. Watch Brian going away now as he again winds that airplane up into the double snap roll away from us. Brian, in the Curtis Pitt model well as Curtis looks down from the sky. Hear that line in the air? That's the flying wires as they take it.